Let me start by asking you a question. What comes to mind when you see this image? That's very true. I can tell you what comes to my mind when I see this image. I think gold mine. Because did you know our sewer sludge actually contains tons of gold? In some places, the concentration of gold in the sewer system is higher than in the world's top gold mines. So how much money are we talking about? A city the size of Amsterdam, 10 million euros worth of gold, silver, and other valuable metals are flushed down the drain every year. Isn't that a waste? Speaking of which, what comes to mind when you see this image? <laughs> what comes to my mind is gold mine. And if you don't believe me, sit around, and I'm sure that by the end of this talk, you'll know what I'm talking about. Because right now, we throw away good stuff, and then it is gone. That is, it ends up in our landfills, in our oceans, and in our incinerators, where it is burned. But that stuff is gold. It has value. And when we burn it, it loses its worth. And we all know the effects that this way of doing business has on our planet. So we're wasting valuable materials, and we're wasting and destroying the planet in the meantime. I want to change that. Or better, I have to change that. So what... I'm actually serious about this mission, and I want to make a fundamental change, and I want to have maximum impact. So what do I do? I run a dating site. And I don't do this on my own. That is no way to have maximum impact. I do this together with Christian van Mare and a team of colleagues at the Excess Materials Exchange, a dating site for secondary materials, a dating site for stuff people throw away, but we consider wealth a dating site where we match supply and demand of materials, and materials with our highest value reuse option. And you might be thinking, is that the way to have maximum impact? Yes, it is. Here's why. When we're talking about saving the planet, we're talking about reducing global greenhouse gas emissions. And right now, our focus in reducing these greenhouse gas emissions is on energy efficiency and renewable energy. But very few people know that only 55% of greenhouse gas emissions are addressed. The other 45% come from producing the stuff that we use every day, our cars and our clothes, steel beams and smartphones, and food and furniture. So if we change the way we deal with these materials, the impact can be huge. And the Ellen MacArthur Foundation has done research on this. And they found that if we focus on five materials only, steel, plastic, aluminum, cement, and food, that we can reduce 9.3 billion tons of greenhouse gas emissions. 9.3 billion tons. How much is that actually? Well, that is the equivalent of eliminating all emissions of global transportation. That means eliminating the emissions of every car, every motor, every train and every plane in the world. Talk about impact and talk about potential. And with the excess materials exchange, we want to unlock that potential the financial potential and the environmental potential. Because remember, we're talking about gold here, money that we throw away right now. So how does that work, running a dating site? There's actually three elements to it. Identity, intelligence, and integral approach. So the first cornerstone of our dating site, as for any other dating site for that matter, it's identity. You need to have a good profile. Right now, 
many valuable materials are wasted because we don't know what they're worth. And we give them an identity in the form of a resources passport. And a resources passport can be compared with an ingredient list on a food item, but then on all products and materials. A resources passport tells you about the origin of a material, how a product is composed, and the calculated environmental impact of a product. And what makes the resources passport so unique is that it's standardized and modular, and that enables us to compare materials in, for example, a building with materials in a smartphone. That is something no one else can. And also, it enables data-driven decision-making. Which brings me to the second cornerstone of our marketplace, intelligence. The Excess Materials Exchange is a tech company. Exponential technology is instrumental to our way of doing business. And we use blockchain and artificial intelligence. We use blockchain to create transparency in global and very complex supply chains. Right now, there is a gap between the need for transparency and the need for privacy. Companies need to know which materials are released when, but they don't want to have their sensitive information published online. With the blockchain, we overcome that. And then we use artificial intelligence in our matchmaking. It comes up with matches that no one has thought of before, and it does it way better and much faster than any human could. And then the third I in the three I approach, integral approach. Does that sound bureaucratic to you? Actually, it's quite the opposite. What it entails for us is that we look for matches between different sectors. Right now, waste in one sector usually remains waste in that sector. But if you give it an identity, opportunities open up in other sectors. And I'll give you an easy example. Coffee leftovers. Right now, coffee leftovers are waste in the restaurant sector. You can't make coffee out of that twice because you'll end up with very badly tasting coffee. But if you give them an identity in the form of a resources passport, limitless opportunities for other companies and in other industries open up. For example, you can actually use the linoleic acid in it for soap. There's nutrients in it that mushroom growers go mad about. And you can use it to make pigment for ink. So now you know. Coffee leftovers are gold. Yes. And this is not the only material you can do that with. We can do that for tons of other materials and products. And we recently finished a pilot in which we've shown that we can save the planet by running a dating site. A dating site for excess materials. Together with Sodexo the Netherlands, we looked at orange peels. Right now, every day, 68 tons of orange peels are produced. 68 tons. And very often they're collected and turned into biogas. And that is an end-of-life scenario. But it doesn't have to be the end of the story. Because by giving them an identity, the true value of the product reveals itself. For example, the orange outer layer of an orange peel contains fragrances and oils that you can use in the soap and the perfume industry. And the inner white layer contains cellulose and fibers that can be converted into feed for livestock. So now you know, orange peels are gold, yes. And then the last example shows you that we've also done some heavy lifting in our pilot. Together with ProRail, the Dutch railway company, we looked at railway tracks. Right now, the average lifetime of a railway track is about 40 years. Then they get taken away and replaced. And very often, they're sold for a scrap metal price of 8 euros per meter, sent off to Turkey and Asia. By giving them an identity, we have found other opportunities. For example, they can still be used as railway track, but on other locations. They can be used as fence or sound wall, but also they can be used as construction beams in buildings. 
and the value of a construction beam is 20 to 50 euros per meter. That's quite a difference from the 8 euros a meter that we started with. So now you know, railway tracks are gold, yes. And in total in the pilot, we looked at 18 different materials in 10 different companies. And we unlocked the following potential. We created 64 million euros in financial value. We've saved enough energy to let the city lights of Paris burn for five years. We've saved an amount of carbon emissions equal to having all the inhabitants of Amsterdam drive to Milan. And we've saved up enough water to fill up 860 Olympic swimming pools. Talk about impact and talk about potential. Hey, you don't have to remember these numbers. You can even forget my name. That is no waste. But what I do hope you remember is that when you see this, you'll think gold mine. And that you know that there is people at the Excess Materials Exchange working on saving the planet by running a dating site. And that there is wealth in waste. And then nothing needs to be wasted anymore. Nothing. Except for one thing. And that is, we can throw away the word waste itself. Thank you. <laughs>